What's up out there? Welcome back to some more Melver Idol. And in this video, we're going to look at the Throne of the Herald expansion, which just came out on Thursday, the 20th. It is now Sunday. I've had a few days to work on this or, and get some knowledge into how things work and a feel for the, the content that's here. So I felt it was a good time to start bringing it, do a video for it and take a look at it. This might be a little bit longer. We're going to take a look at everything, uh, not everything in detail, but we're going to do a kind of a gloss over of the content that's been added. Look at some things in detail and I'll put timestamps for certain things down below. Uh, so you can navigate through this a little bit better and see anything. This is kind of geared towards everybody. Uh, maybe you don't have the expansion yet and you're trying to see what comes with it. Maybe you do have the expansion, but you're stuck at level 99 on everything. Or maybe you're kind of into a different portion of the expansion and you're curious about what some of the other stuff looks like. I know some people probably bolted right into combat. Some people went to different skills here and there. So we're all probably starting on something different. And what I have here is not complete. Like this is where I'm at with my progress on my character. Um, so I don't have everything unlocked, but I have enough that I have a feel for it, if that makes sense. So let's dive in. First and foremost, if you did get a bunch of things leveled up, but you did want to, if if you got things leveled up past 99, but you wanted to keep them at um, 90, you wanted to start the expansion at 99, there is a uh, setting for that. You reset all skills to level 99, and this only resets your skills down. On my hardcore character, I, I had a bunch of the, I can't remember what it was. I had some summoning marks from something that I was working on. When we got the township patch, we got the level 61 marks or something like that, I think. And then once the expansion came out, I had a few marks in like woodcutting or something, whatever I was working on, um, on my hardcore character, that stuff stayed. So there are certain things that stay um, and don't go away when you do this, this reset or whatever you want to call it. So that is there if you wish to use it. I don't know that there was any other changes added to this, so I haven't really dug around in the menu or the settings, so if there is a change here, I haven't seen it. All right, after that, we're gonna go into the shop and take a look at what's in here. And there is actually quite a bit of stuff in this shop. Um, the first one I'll point out, and I don't really know how I feel about it. Like, it's a good thing. I just don't know if I'm really excited for it. And that's this extra equipment slot. Like, when you, especially like in hardcore or maybe adventure or something, and especially early on, really, for any of these characters, um, when you start off and you you have, like, no equipment slot, you have one equipment slot and you have uh, no room in your bank, you know, like you're running out of storage space and everything, those extra equipment slots came in really handy and you were always excited to get a new one. And then once we got the fourth one, it was great because then you could have each of your combat styles and then your um, skilling one is how I've got it set, which I presume other people do. But now we're getting this fifth one. I don't know what it's for. Like, I don't have a purpose for it. Like, it'll be cool in hardcore because that's an extra place to dump stuff. But regular accounts, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's going to be cool to have um, something set up for maybe astrology or thieving or something dedicated to that. So if you need to switch off or even summoning, you know, you want to switch off to something and use it. Maybe that's what it's for. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes, but there is an extra equipment slot. You just have to complete the ancient sanctuary, which is the first dungeon to get to, which we'll cover that in combat here in a minute. Then there's a bunch of skilling upgrades. There was some for, uh, wood cutting. My uh, woodcutting, mining, and fishing rods. I've upgraded some of these so they don't show up anymore. And then the cooking fires, furnaces, the pots, and stuff like that. These are your standard ones um, that were there before. There's upgraded versions of them now. There are gated content in here. I, and this was one of the concerns I had, you know, leveling all my stuff up to 120. Would I be able to um, just blow through all the content? Like I had 4 billion gold and 120 level 120 and almost everything and you know am i just going to smoke through all the content well they put some some gates in here uh to keep you from just blasting through the content now i've gotten through some of it fairly quickly um and basically the the gate is mining um for the non-combat stuff like you had to mine up some of this corundamite to buy the first tier of um pickaxe 
axe and uh, fishing pole. And then you had to get down to augite for the second tier, meteorite for the third, and then there's the divine one you have to get some stuff for, which is where I'm at here. I need to get some money and then the divine bars. I haven't been focused on fishing, so I haven't bought this one, but I did some wood cutting and opened that up. What they did is for wood cutting, um, everything after redwood was locked. Like you couldn't get to any of this until you unlock that first um, corundamite axe. And the same thing with mining. The only thing you could mine right off the bat was corundamite and then everything else you had to unlock. What they didn't do was fishing and it's kind of fishy if you will, but all of the fish were unlocked right off the bat. And the only thing, you know, I mean, I can upgrade to this fishing rod, but the content wasn't gated, which I thought was kind of odd, but whatever. Um, they gated off two of the three, but not the third. And I kind of would have thought that, but it doesn't matter. Maybe you can get bars from there uh, to fill these in. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. So there's some, some upgrades here. There are some additional upgrades for astrology interval and summoning interval. And I'm going to guess that we're going to be in and out of astrology, just like we're in and out of summoning periodically to create new tablets. Uh, there, We'll see some things here in a bit that um, you're going to need more astrology for. Uh, well, we're seeing it now with the mining. The only way to get uh, meteorites is from astrology. So you have to go work astrology if you want to mine meteorite ore. So you're already having to go back and forth between different skills and come back you know you got to go to mining for this to smithing back to wood cutting for something and then over to astrology and then back you know what i mean like you're kind of all over the place to get some of this stuff unlocked which is good they're weaving in and out of the content um no new gloves no new skill capes this is all base content none of that's changed none of the materials were added they did not add anything for summoning as far as shards go um, we do have some, of course, some new Slayer stuff. This Labyrinth Solution, we'll look at that in a minute. This gets you into the first dungeon and you get the components from um, so a Slayer area. So we'll get through that one. Uh, and then some of these you have to complete. You're going to have to dance around on the combat side too. You're going to have to open up dun You're going to have to open up a Slayer area to open up the first dungeon and then go through a dungeon to get some more Slayer areas and then back into dungeons because some of these need you to complete certain areas first and then come back. So um, this is going to be an interesting um, journey, shall we say. It's not just straightforward. I can just go into any dungeon at any time. I have to lean, go through certain things first and unlock them. Uh, then there's some new items down here. The Slayer Torch and the Mystic Lantern I've unlocked. What surprised me is there's not as much... Um, there's not as much stuff that costs Slayer coin. Uh, that kind of shocked me. I figured they're like these had 25,000, 500,000. These were, I, I don't know what their cost was. I don't know if that's reduced or if it's just cheap with the, the logs and bar. But I mean, these didn't really seem to cost as much. I saved up 88 million Slayer coin thinking I'd need a whole lot. It doesn't seem like I'm going to need as much as I thought. And the other thing too is there's some Slayer upgrades here. And these only require 20 and 20. And I think this kept getting worse and worse as you went. Like this was 40, I think. You had to get 40, 40 Slayer tasks done to get these. And then a million each. I know these are 5 million each and 10 million each. So they're more expensive. But you're going to make a lot of Slayer coin. And I don't know. This didn't seem as steep as I, I expected. You know, this would have been like 50 or 60 and then 80 or something like that. 80 tasks complete, you know. But... It's just 20 of each, so maybe the tasks are you know, really hard, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll get there. Moving down through the township stuff, all of this gear was here before we got this patch. This all came in with the, uh, um, the pre-patch for the expansion. I think most of these pets were here. I believe all these rocks came in with the expansion, and I think the hats were all there, but I think the rocks were the ones that came in later, so... Um, those probably were added for this, I think. And then all of the superior skill capes. Now, the ones to note in this, <clears throat> if you've already got 120 and everything, go ahead and buy the skill cape and use it. Like there's some really good bonuses in here, 
But don't forget that the superior fire making skill cape gives you 8% global skilling XP. So like me, I have rune crafting, astrology, and township to work on. This will actually help those for leveling if I'm trying to level those up faster. So don't forget to buy that and equip it and get those extra bonuses. But all of these have some really good bonuses to them. And <clears throat> like the thieving one, where's the thieving one? Gives you a bunch of extra stealth and stuff, and you're going to need it. When we get to thieving, you'll see that. Um, but they're, they're going to need that. But all these superior skill capes are here. Looking forward to getting, getting my uh, superior max skill cape bought back. Uh, I'm only three skills away. <clears throat> Working towards them, but you know we'll get there. So that is everything that is in the shop. Okay, moving right along to combat. We do have some new Slayer levels. There's Legendary and Mythical, and these are pretty steeply cost or pretty steeply priced. Uh, Fifty thousand for the Legendary and a hundred thousand for the Mythical. <clears throat> so we'll see where these go. I tried these and just checked it out just a brief bit. Uh, one of the problems that I ran into is that I needed all the Slayer negation. If you go into these Slayer areas and look at them. Uh, 149% chance for deadly poison, 149% chance for current hit points is taken as your attack. Like there's some really steep, well, they're all 100 and something. These get up to 200%. Actually, yeah, because I don't have any of the uh, Slayer gear on. So these are the worst case scenarios. And then Golden Cloud Mountain, 299% lifesteal. Like that's just brutal. So there is a lot of Slayer negation that we're going to find later on. Like I said about the Slayer skill cape, make sure and get that and put it on if you're going to do any of this because it's going to hurt a lot. One thing that I'm not clear on is if you bought the expansion but you haven't beaten Bane yet, can you raise your levels to 120 and maybe mine and smith up some of the new gear and equip it? Um, <clears throat> not sure on that. Theoretically, it would make a lot of this stuff go a lot quicker. And theoretically, if you can get into some of these higher agility ones, uh, there is a lot, I don't have them turned on right now, but there is a lot of Slayer negation in agility. So, may and the skill cape you get for it and everything. So maybe the Bane fight could be made a lot easier to get into this. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if they lock off all of the new content at Bane or just some of the new content. Um, like I said, these are all pretty massive, and if you go over to the dungeon area, I don't have any of these dungeons unlocked because I haven't gone through the Ancient Sanctuary yet, and the Ancient Sanctuary is only available once you've cleared into the, or the Impending Darkness, uh, and, and then you gotta go buy this thing and all, but, um, this is the one I have open to me, and it just drops some stuff that, it, seal, it seems okay, you know, some toxic stuff, I'm sure we're gonna have to collect a bunch of this stuff up to create more things, or to build something else. Weakness Exploiter Cape. That sounds awesome. Can't wait for that. <laughs> uh, but there's some new areas. I don't have any of them unlocked yet. I have not spent any time on combat to speak of. I did go into the jungle area and fight each of these because each one of these drops a different portion of the labyrinth, labyrinth clue. I wanted to see what the combat was like. I saw that Slayer negation and I was just run basically running impending darkness gear to negate as much as I could. Um, I really needed better gear. So that's why I, I was already focused on like mining and stuff to begin with. So that's why I quit combat. Um, I was going to try to go through the labyrinth and see how it was, but it's really gated at, you need to have better gear. So I don't have better gear and I didn't have all my skill capes purchased yet. I really wasn't working through it. I was just kind of poking at the content and seeing what was there. Um, so one thing that I did notice, let's see here. Um, the one thing that I really noticed most is that whatever spells and prayers you have get remembered. So when I click over here, I have Battleborn and Divination uh, selected and I have, well, the spell would normally stay, but your curses would not normally get remembered and your auras would not normally get rem remembered. So I can click on that. I can click on and off of whatever skill I want or whatever combat class that I have and it remembers this is my melee class it's got the melee prayers this is the ranged one it's got the ranged prayers that is awesome that is a huge quality of life increase um and, and of course we've got the gear selections um 
these are kind of cool. I've been mostly using them on the skilling side. So like if I wanted to go into thieving, I can equip this. The passive slot's always the one that we've never had a slot for in this, like in this little uh, dial thing down here. You've never had a way of equipping the passive slot. And now we do. Um, by clicking on this, you can select between three different choices. So, I mean, you can see the ones I've put. I haven't gotten into combat yet, so I haven't used the, the quick change in combat. So we'll see how that goes. But so far, I really I like it. I just wish it was a whole gear set. I wish there was one down here as well as the individual slot, uh, slots. So anyway, let's see. That is pretty much it for combat. That's, like I said, nothing exciting here so far. I have really just not done that much. Uh, no new anything in regular combat areas. Um, and like I said, all the, the higher end content... I just haven't been in yet. So unfortunately, that is it for combat. That's all I have to show. And finally, we're going to look at non-combat. Now there's a lot of skills here. I'm going to breeze through a lot of these because they're kind of what you'd expect the content to be more of the same stuff we had before. But there are some things that are really cool and some things to know. Uh, first and foremost on wood cutting, um, as mentioned earlier, if you were watching that part of it, uh, there is an axe that unlocks all of these trees. Actually, there's several axes. You have to go through. Mining is a gatekeeper for this. You have to start with Corundamite uh, and then work down to Augite, Meteorite, and Divine in order to get all of the axes unlocked. And once you have all of the axes, that allows all the trees to be cut. Um, each one of those unlocks a different section of trees. I have them all unlocked now, and I've checked them out, did some my, um, wood cutting for a little while. There is a new bird's nest. It's a raven's nest, and it comes with all a lot of the new seeds and stuff that you would expect. So that's a cool addition, and of course, all new synergies and stuff I haven't even gotten to yet. So that's a little bit into wood cutting. Fishing, I haven't really done anything on. I think I might have fished one of each of the fish just to put them into my inventory spot in here. Um, yeah, I just fished up one of each just to get them in here so that whenever I do go fishing, they park in the right spot. Uh, otherwise, I haven't spent any time with this. And none of this was gatekeeped. There's no gatekeeping on this content that I can tell. I don't know if that was an oversight or if it was planned that way, but I upgraded to a few of the fishing rods that I could. I still need to get the final one, but these give you a chance to find a lost chest. Don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. I do want to try that. I'm intrigued, but I haven't fished yet. So I haven't spent the time. Fire making, again, pretty much what you'd expect. You got new trees to burn. Uh, there is a ton of bonuses that will come in from um, uh, astro agility, astrology, and summoning. So there's like 200% gold bonuses and things. I don't remember where all they are. But there's a lot of good bonuses out there, and even Herblor has some good bonuses. So for there's a potion you can get that um, I'll try to remember to look at it when we get there. But there's some good potions and agility obstacles and summoning tablets. There's a lot of good stuff for this here. I have not really done fi uh, fire making, though. Same thing with cooking. It looks the, about the same. You've got upgrades for everything. You've got the new recipes, uh, which use basically the fish you've got. Or the some of the new ingredients, well, old ingredients, I guess. But the new, the new, uh, oh, like these chili peppers and star fruit, the new vegetables. That's the word I'm looking for. And then you've got some new recipes over here too, I think. Uh, nothing, nothing really new in cooking. Mining we looked at earlier. You have to go through corundamite. Um, I think, I think initially you only get corundamite and pure essence and maybe the onyx ones. And then once you unlock the corundamite axe, pickaxe, you get down to augite and then augite gets you to meteorite, meteorite gets you to, um, divine. So this is with everything unlocked now. I do have it all there. The way these work here, the way these gem veins work, the onyx, the Eureka and the cerulean, now, meteorite's a little different, but sort of similar. The way these work is once you're mining anything north of Dragonite, 
Um, I don't remember where it says it at in here, but somewhere it will tell you. Uh, oh, well, right here. Gem veins are located at random while mining anywhere after Dragonite. So anything new here can get you slots into this. You cannot mine this unless you have slots into this to mine. So once I got to the meteorite part, I had to actually go down to astrology, go in astrology for a little while, let it build up some meteorite or mine that out and then come back with the upgraded axe to get the divine stuff. So, and I don't really know what all these gems do yet. I mean, I'm sure they're for higher crafting and whatever, but um, I don't know if there's like anything we can drum up out of these or the gem veins. Like, is there a new item in there that we can get? Or is there something fancy that doesn't show up? I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. I've mined up enough to get here. Uh, I don't believe this says 20% uh, chance to re receive plus one in mining. And 3% chance to receive a quality superior gem while mining veins or meteorite ore. So you get a little bonuses off of the pickaxe. And I don't know. That's where we're at with that one. Smithing, uh, this is pretty much what you'd expect. You're going to have new bars to make. You're going to have new equipment to make out of that. I did not see anything else added other than just the gear. Um, for whatever reason, the meteorite gear only has a select bit of stuff. But the Divine Gear has all of it, the Augite, and the Corundum has all the usual suspects. So, nothing exciting there. Let's see, we're going to go down to Thieving. Now, there are a whole bunch of new... We've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11 different NPCs here. A whole pack of NPCs. All of these have worse success rates than the King. Meaning, you're going to need a lot of... Um, stealth to thieve these correctly i kind of poked at some of these and I, it was just taking too much damage then i noticed that there was a bunch of stuff in astrology and uh probably summoning and um agility for this and then the skill cape and everything or the superior skill cape so i haven't gone in here but of course this is going to have all new stuff to get um we got all new toys in here for whatever we'll we'll get to that point this is kind of lower hanging or this is Lower on my priority list. Uh, don't really care. Going to work on getting that stealth up at some point, but I want to get some of the other content first uh, before we go into this. So, then we go on to farming. Farming has added three more allotments on this side. There's been um, three more herb slots and two more trees. So you can grow a bunch of extra stuff. I started growing all the new stuff as much as I could, but I'm out. I don't have any of these herbs. I got to go collect some. I had a few, grew a few, and now I'm back to just regular herbs. But the other stuff, I've kind of switched over to making all of the new content so I can just grow it in the background and get there. I'm already level 145 farming. And sometimes people ask me how that somewhere in here uh, these ghost levels, the 125 over 120 and all the 132, somewhere in here is showing, there. It, I can't remember what it's called, but you can show, um, oh, uh, those phantom levels or whatever they're called. Anyway, there's an option in here if you're looking for that. On to fletching. Fletching is pretty much what you'd expect. More stuff with the different ores we get. Um, there is ethereal, which come from ectoplasm and divine arrows. So there's like new stuff in here. Um, pretty much the usual suspects. You're going to take the new, the new trees and make new bows out of them. Uh, the new gems and you're going to make these. So it thinks so we're going to take onyx bolts. There's going yeah, to, there's going to be a lot of weaving around of this. So, uh, anyway, same thing. I mean, there's nothing really exciting here. It's the content you'd expect. Uh, on to crafting. Crafting does have some a lot of new things. No new leather, no new dragon hide. I mean, obviously it's new stuff, but there's a lot of cool new things in here. Um, the rings you'd expect, more rings, more necklaces. I don't think there was anything that was really uh, super exciting here. This one, this one does a fancy attack. I mean, it's all combat based. What was really cool, though, is in the bag section. There's uh, six new bags, 
We got the artisan one, which helps out crafting. We've got this one, which helps out item alchemy. Uh, more money off of item alchemy. The kindling pouch is awesome. 200% gold fire making, gold from fire making, and 5% fire making interval. Uh, minus 5% fire making interval. Chef's bag speeds up cooking. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't speed it up. Chance to double items and chance to preserve resources. So that's cool. Uh, stamina pouch, gold from agility and uh, negative gold or negative agility interval. Jesus, I'll get the words out at some point. And then summoning, you get more uh, base quantity for summoning tablets and chance to preserve resources. So I thought those were cool. It looks like I don't remember the large urn being here. Like when we got the township patch, I think it was the small and the medium. I don't remember the large one being there. Um, but there is a large one there. So whether it was there before or not, I don't know. But there is one now. And hardwood armor. Uh, again, it's another. You got new trees. Or you got some new thing to craft into stuff. And here's the stuff to craft it into. So we're going into trees. We went from leather to dragon hide to trees. So tree bark. Uh, let's see here. Rune crafting. Rune crafting has no new combination runes. These stayed the same, but this is basically all combination runes down here. Poison runes take pure essence, a lot of pure essence. I'm sorry. I don't, that's what I have. My bad. Uh, you have to take a lot of these runes to make one of the poison runes. And the same thing with all these, like it's mixing a lot of different runes. So these are basically all combination runes in another form, um, but they're just the regular ones. I haven't bothered crafting any of them yet. I should go through and make one just to have them and put them in the slot, but I haven't taken that time yet. More new staves and wands, the usual suspects. Same thing here. They have added poison, infernal, and lightning gear. I would assume there's some magic behind it, but I have not gotten that far. Um, that's a pretty cool picture there. So anyway, there's new uh, rune crafting stuff. I don't want to say it's boring. I mean, it's kind of exciting to have all this new stuff, but it's the stuff you would expect. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Herb lore, again, nothing super exciting here. Uh, the one that's really cool that does excite me is the area control because this is flat Slayer area negation. So if you can create that and go through um like the impending darkness event with that that would help out get through that because that lowers that negation quite a bit before you even get there but then there's you know a lot of cool stuff in here uh was there one in here that was i think there was something that i really liked in here uh gym detector yeah that looks cool uh star seeker plus three percent chance to locate golden stardust and this doesn't cost us stardust to make i mean it might be hard to get but Bitter Lime Herb and Meteorite Ore. So you can whip up a bunch of potions from that, get better chances of getting that Golden Stardust. That's cool. I dig that. Uh, the Blacksmith one I like. Chance to double items. Because what we had before was for Gold and Silver, and it didn't really have anything for the rest of it. Um, now we do. Alt Magic, Interval, uh, Enkindled, Chance to double items and Fire Making. So we've got a lot of good stuff for Fire Making, and they really focused on that. Um, let's go on to agility. Agility has a bunch of new stuff in here. And I took this one here, obstacle 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then this, uh, elite pillars. So I took this one that gives you 15 plus 15 mining node HP and some global mastery. Um, all of these that I've noticed have a negative. Every single one of these has red negatives. There's none that have no negative so these all hurt too i was looking at some of these and they are just painful um but there's one for summoning that i grab there's chance to double items and of course i'm losing all kinds of just gold and uh preserved potions and like losing a lot of stuff global skill xp but this has got chance to locate stardust chance for golden stardust the xp i'm not terribly concerned about at this point i probably should change that but I'm working on like astrology and stuff. So that's, I, I took a break for summoning, but I am working on astrology. Uh, this obstacle I haven't taken anything with. I can't afford anything. Uh, number one, you need a lot of the skills uh, like this one. I don't have astrology, but you need a lot of the different materials and stuff too that I just don't have yet. And I don't want to spend the time making. So I haven't got there. 
The pillar is another deal. These pillars look insane, and I probably should prioritize these. Uh, the combat pillar looks awesome, like 350, 350% gold from monsters, minus three prayer cost, uh, prayer pres 25% prayer preservation, 35% flat slayer negation. That is awesome. 10% life steal, 200% hit point regen. Um, then we come down here, 50 bank spaces on the pillar of endowment and 8% global mastery on expertise. They actually split that because I normally ran this one here with uh, gold and bank spaces. So we, you can get 60 bank spaces. Hardcore, hello. I can't wait for that. Um, minus 3% interval for all non-combat skills. Like this is double loot in combat, double items globally, 40% glo global gold. Like there's some really killer, <laughs> these uh, these pillars are awesome. Like they are really good in game stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm excited for those. These excite me. You know, I I went through the effort of unlocking all these. Um, I really should push to get that pillar. I guess I don't know. We'll see. Um, on to summoning. Summoning's the one I don't really have a lot on on yet. On the agility side, um, this unlocks. What did it unlock? This is the Eagle, and it is for interval reduction. Meaning everything that I've gotten this one up to where I could see what the synergies are. And it looks like they're all interval interval reduction. So I'm going to guess if you pair it with the fire with the devil one, it's going to make fire making go a little quicker and, you know, on and on. I haven't got all these unlocked yet. I had two of them. Gives me enough to look at. And that's on my hardcore character. On this character, I've been focusing on astrology, which you can see here. And I'm also working on uh, summoning. That's what I'm creating now is these tablets here. Uh, but these give you maximum hit and minus 5% summoning interval. So I should probably equip those. Um, it's cool to have these synergies. I wanted these. Well, number one, I needed to create one because I just got this. But number two, I wanted to start working on getting them, you know, moving all this stuff forward. And same thing with the the owl one. I've got this one, but I don't really think it. Oop, I switched off and I didn't want to. My bad. Go back in here. Uh, I don't have any synergies with any of the new stuff yet at all. Um, show all. Show unlocked. Well, show all. There's a lot that I have locked, or that I don't have the synergies for. The ones I do, it looks like the ones from Astrology are going to give you Mastery XP. 1.5% um, Mastery XP. So I've got that on four of these. One, two, three, four. And they're all the same thing. So, again, working more on that. But I'm excited for summoning. I really like... I didn't like this at first, but I really like summoning these days. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Going down to Astrology. Now, I did not get Astrology... I guess I forgot to go through astrology when we got the first patch of this, but they've changed everything and you can now unlock all of these, but the cost requirements are pretty steep. So I'm having to go through and redo a lot of these. What we got with the expansion was four new uh, uh, constellations. This one here is focused all on astrology. So I made my best effort to unlock as much of this as possible. And of course I, I did have, 99, well, I had 95% mastery, which gives you the 2% chance for golden stardust and meteorites, but I burned all that down to make sure and get this one up to 99 so I could see what these are. And I've been, do I not have any? I've been taking at least one in every single thing that comes up just to have some form of bonus. So I have all these bonuses. Like you can get a lot of bonuses out of this. They may or may not be great, but there's a lot of bonuses. And there's a lot of stuff in specifically to astrology. There's uh, the skill and mastery one. And then the interval makes it go faster. Uh, I think there's a potion to make things go faster, which I'm out of apparently. And yeah, I, I had a bunch of potions from Township. I think I'm burned through them. But anyway, then we get some stuff for Township in here. Uh we also get two general ones. This is all non-combat and this is all combat. So if you look at the non-combat, this is good for hardcore. You get extra bank spaces, more gold. So I want to rack this one up fairly quickly, probably now for this account. 
Um, I don't really care about the bank space here, but it's nice to have. A uh, chance to locate Stardust. It just says Stardust, so that probably gives you a chance for all of it. Uh, chance to double items globally. Like, these are killer. Really good bonuses on this. So, having that high level is awesome. And then on this side, you've got auto eat efficiencies, slayer task damage, chance to double loot in combat, attack interval speed, um, and then flat slayer area negation. So, I'll be working, to, probably getting these up before I go into combat just to make everything go a little smoother. And township... Not sure there was anything new added here. I haven't really spent much time with it. Once we got the expansion, I kind of quit working on Township. So where you see it now is where it's sat for a few days. I got the trader in here. And I my grand plan before the expansion came out was I got the trader in. I was going to go and cut trees and uh, mine some stuff up and trade some things out and build some buildings and stuff. Then we got the expansion like later that day. And then this is just sat. So I haven't really done anything with it. Now, the final one is alt magic, and there is a bunch of new stuff down here. Uh, nullification, if you want to convert regular um, essence to pure essence, you can. Purification, this converts 100,000 rune essence to pure essence. What's this one do? Nullification converts pure essence to rune essence. So you can go either direction with these, convert them back and forth. Actually, that might be a loop you could do. Um, I have to play with that. Uh, all magic isn't one that I use very often unless it's for like hardcore combat only or something. I've just never really used it for my standard account. So it just kind of gets pushed to the side, but you can convert, uh, gems into random summoning shards. You can convert gems into magic XP. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that gets you, but that's fine. That's pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Superheat. Uh, create five bars using one, blah, blah, blah. I mean, kind of your standard stuff that you'd be expecting these to be, but better versions of them. So this has been an incredibly long video, and I think that covers everything that I know about this expansion so far. So let me know how you're enjoying the expansion. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. I think there's a lot of new content to explore. I'm curious to see how they do things. I saw some rumblings about um, astrology. I mean, it was kind of a bummer to not be able to completely buy everything in astrology, but now that I'm kind of over it and Band-Aid's pulled off and I'm working on it, uh, I'm just plowing forward with it and doing what I can anyway. I need to level it up, so you know I'm there anyway. It's not like I'm at 120 and stuck looking for more content, but I have a feeling we're going to be going back and forth between all these skills to like with the mining and smithing and wood cutting and stuff like you have to work on certain things and then come back and work on other things and then come back like you're just constantly back and forth weaving in and out of these skills and i think they've done a really good job of not letting me just be at 120 and in game and fighting the end boss in a week or two like this is probably going to take a while to finish off all the masteries to get the all the you know my levels are there i can equip all the gear that i want I don't have to worry about leveling, but there's enough gate content gatekeeping in there that I have to go do something else to come back. It's going to last a while. It's not just going to get blown through. Anyway, that will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.